This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joy Lidegi. Azimio presidential hopeful Raila Odinga has unveiled a grand plan to turn the tide against Deputy President William Ruto and annihilate his earlier gains in the vote-rich region. Raila's camp has employed a multi-tronged approach to take over the restive central region and everything is being rolled out to enhance the opposition chief's fortunes. The DP, who is propagating the hustler movement philosophy, has been seen as having a head start in Central, despite his bitter falling out with his boss. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The former principal of Highway Secondary School on Thursday told an anti-corruption court that Kapsere Tempi Oscar Sudi did not sit for his KCSC examination at the said school in 2006. Patrick Maritim confirmed earlier testimony of an official from the Kenya National Examinations Council who said Sudi did not register nor sit for the 2006 KCSC examination at Highway Secondary School. Maritim told anti-corruption magistrate Felix Combo that Sudi's name did not appear anywhere in the school's register at the time he was the principal there. The mysterious death of Meru Senator Mithika Linturi's housemaid has taken a new twist, with the DCI now seeking exhumation of the body for postmortem. Edith Kananu, who worked for the legislator, died in 2018. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations now claims the senator is a person of interest in the death. In the case, an activist had petitioned the High Court to compel the DCI to investigate Linturi's involvement in the death of his house help, business partner, and his alleged fake degree. In her 46 years, Mary Logere has never seen a drought that has lasted three years. The drought has wiped out water sources and pastures. The northern parts of Kenya have received less than 30% of normal rainfall, the worst record in decades. Livestock, which the pastoralist communities depend on for livelihood, are emaciated and dying in droves. President Uhuru Kenyatta has suspended Justice Said Chitembwe from office. In a Gazette notice dated May 18th, Uhuru also appointed a 12-member tribunal to conduct a probe into gross misconduct accusations facing the High Court judge. The head of state's decision follows a petition by the Judicial Service Commission that recommended the judge's removal. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.